If I'm gonna be the leader Master Splinter wants me to be, I have to focus, train harder. Wish the others were here. They're good, but not good enough. None of us are. We need to be better, Ninja. Something's not right. A foot! What the heck are those creeps doing here? Not exactly the kind of training I was expecting. Hold on. What's this? Whoa! I feel... stronger. Not that I'm complaining. Now, let's see if any more of those foot jerks are lurking around. Another ambush, guys? You seriously need to come up with some new tricks. Okay, this is definitely new. Looks like a strange coin. Forget Donnie. Pretty sure I'm gonna need Father to explain all this. Just a little farther. Uh, guys? This is getting kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Your lame sneak attacks followed by me kicking your butts! Deja vu all over again. Ninja style. Another purple thing? Sweet. Shot. I gotta get back. Sensei's in trouble. A trap. I should have known. And these guys aren't messing around like the ones before. One of the rats fall. Straight from the mess. Show yourself! Not so fast. My soldiers have you beaten. Too easy. I could have you destroyed here and now, but your ultimate demise will have to wait. Your family's doom is at hand. You, your brothers, your pathetic fool of a father. Where has your feeble old master wandered off to, I wonder? If you happen to find the rats, do let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Leo? Where did you come from? You're hurt. I'm good, April. But Father, where is he? What happened? He's gone, Leo. Some kind of trans-dimensional portal? Maybe transpatial? It looked kind of like the thing you just came out of, Leo. Where the heck were you? Training. A and then... Shredder and his foot goons ambushed me. I told you guys it was Shredder. I'm gonna recycle that tin can for sure. Not so fast, Raph. This is big. The way they took Master Splinter and sent Leo back here. My sons, can you hear me? Father, is that you? Where are you? Physically, I know not. Mentally, I speak from across the astral plane. Janine, come. You are injured. Be healed. Bell, Master. I, I got too cocky. Let my guard down. And then Shredder. Stop. Do not punish yourself, Leonardo. I too was caught by surprise. It appears Orokosaki has new tricks at his disposal. How do we find you? I do not know. We're gonna come get you, Sensei. Wherever you are. Nothing's getting in our way. We won't let you down, Father. I have never doubted your courage, nor your perseverance, my sons. And there may be ways I can aid you in this task. I found this strange coin, Sensei. I thought you would know what to do with it. Yes, I recognize this. An aspect of dark magic. Whoa! It, 
it disappeared. How is that possible? I can extend this power to you. Should you uncover more of these coins, return them here in exchange for powerful blessings. And always remember your training, my sons. Father? Father! He's... he's gone, guys. What do we do now? We stop talking and start smashing, that's what. We're in this together. If we're gonna get to Shredder, we'll have to make our way back to the rooftops. That's where the foot jumped to me. What are we waiting for? Let's go! I just hope Father's okay. We all do, Mikey. I forgot to tell you guys, I ran into this just before Shredder and his goons ambushed me. Looks totally powerful, dudes! It made me stronger, but only for a short time. The power faded when that portal thing returned me to the lair. Huh, curious. I should call Metalhead and have him run some tests. No time, nerdling. Take it and let's go get Sensei. Looks like the Foot Clan have infiltrated the sewers. Stockgen has dealings with Shredder. Here's hoping it's just business. Let's make the most of it. Oh, 
downhill from here, right? a ninja fight. to learn more about them. I guess now's the chance. You just gonna walk through it? Why not? Maybe it'll take us to father. Donnie's right. We don't have a lot to go on right now. As crazy as it sounds, walking through this portal actually makes the most sense. Okay, this ain't too weird. It looks like some kind of shop. Yeah. Do you think they sell pizzas here? If they do, you better make sure one of the toppings isn't tetanus, Mikey. That's cool. As long as it's got pineapple and anchovies, too. Guests, welcome to my sensational shop of sundries. I am called the chairman. Donnie, what's sundries? It's just a fancy word for miscellaneous goods, Mikey. Well, looks at this dump. I don't think good's the right word for this stuff. Raf, show some respect. Just saying. Please don't let the detritus fool you. Your purple clad comrade has the right of it. My humble market abounds with items you are sure to find both good and helpful in your quest. Wait, how do you know about our quest? Mine is a very busy establishment. A rare commodity in this in-between place with a diverse and thriving clientele. As a result, I am privy to, shall we say, the gossip of the times? Such as the recent news of your quartet's harrowing journey to save your master, from the notoriously naughty clutches of the Foot Clan. Yo, chair guy. If any of those clients you're bragging about told you where those foot goons got our father holed up, this would be a real good time to spit it out. Believe me, my irascible friend, if I did have access to such crucial information, I would readily share it with you. Outstanding customer service is, after all, my highest priority. But alas, I cannot provide what I do not possess. But you did say you could help with our mission. 
Yes, yes, I have for purchase many special items, charms and enhancements, if you will, that once bought provide the buyer with powers and abilities they had previously lacked. Oftentimes, when they are needed most to overcome seemingly unassailable odds. I don't know, fellas. This is sounding like one huge scam to me. Oh, but I assure you I am a legitimate businessman soliciting an honest service. At a fair price, of course. After all, anything worth having is worth paying for, don't you agree? So please, peruse and ponder my goods. I am confident you will find something to your liking. Crap for payment? What the heck kind of shop is this? Junk man wants junk. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. This chamber, it's closed on all sides. Great. No stinking exits. Hold on. Is that Slash? You're right. It's totally the big guy. Turtles, be careful. Things aren't what they seem. Leatherhead? Yes, I'm here, mutant. In this fetid sewer with you and the rest of your disgusting ink. But not for long. What do you mean? He made promises. I will return to my natural state. And all that is important is the remedy and its price. What price? Your destruction! guy who can't stand himself? Leatherhead sure puts up a monster fight. That's because he believes he is a monster, Raphael. He is a tortured soul. One that is easily manipulated. Slash! Let's get you out of there. What? Are those train ties? Oh, this is gonna take a while. What the? Leatherhead's gone! It's the spot. Slash, buddy! You're free! How did you end up trapped down here? I came looking for you and your brothers, Leonardo. There have been bizarre happenings on the surface. 
odd creatures appearing seemingly out of nowhere, roaming and terrorizing the streets to the point that the police are enforcing a mandatory lockdown for all civilians. Dang! Sounds like things are getting cray-cray up there. I suspected the Foot Clan is somehow responsible, and I came to warn you. But unfortunately, I was ambushed and taken prisoner by Leatherhead instead. I wouldn't sweat it too much, pal. The whole ambushing and taking prisoners thing's going around tonight. The Foot jumped Leo earlier, and snagged our father, too. Oh no. Master Splinter. We think the Foot Clan has father. We're working off some pretty fragmented data at this point, so we can't be 100% certain yet. Whatever's true, none of it is making sense. Leatherhead's never attacked us unprovoked before. I mean, what the heck was all that talk about his natural state? Don't waste too much brain juice trying to figure it out, Don. Just a matter of time before that scaly kook snapped. Maybe, but that was definitely a teleporter he used to escape, which totally proves my theory. Shredder's got himself some new high-tech toys. I don't know. My vote's still on something darker than normal science, Donnie. Will you geeks shut up about all that computers and crystal balls junk for two freaking seconds? You're giving me a bigger headache than Mikey was with all his whining earlier. Raph's a total jerk, but he's not wrong. We need to quit all this dumb arguing and get going so we can save Father. That's the spirit, Mikey. I'm confident you'll be successful. I... I hope so, big guy. We've never done anything this big without our sensei. I'm getting worried we might not be able to handle it without him. We gotta get moving. Thanks for all the intel, Slash. It helps a lot. And watch your back down here. You heard Leatherhead. He's not finished yet. Dudes, where all the people go? Last time I saw the docks this empty was when that rusty sewer drain exploded and flooded everything. Ugh, talk about clearing a place out real quick. Looks like Slash was right. The authorities have all the civilians hunkered down. Good, let them hide. Just means nobody's gonna get in the way of us pounding the foot. Yeah, but it means nobody's gonna help us either. Hmm, you might be right, Mikey. Nobody will help us. Huh? You'll see. Let's go. Not forever, but it'll help. This mouser has an ego problem. Just wear and tear. my toes. is faring well? Could be worse, I suppose. We'll find Splinter, Leo. I promise. Yeah. 
Thanks, April. Moving on, though. I got tired of the mess around here and decided to toss some of your stuff in an old chest by the dojo. If you need anything before heading out, that'll be the place to find it. Aw, oh, thanks, April. Mighty kind of you. Don't get used to it. I got a lot better things to do with my time than to clean up after you guys. Here's hoping you take the overly obvious hint. Outside of this portal insanity, how goes things, guys? We found this crazy shop where we can get all kinds of cool stuff to help get Father back. Crazy's right. You should see the crackpot run in that place, April. Calls himself the chairman. Dude's like Fright Night with a stinking feather pen. He's creepy, all right. But Mikey's not kidding about the items he's selling. Definitely things we could use to our advantage. Yeah, if you don't mind doing all your shopping in a haunted junkyard. Well, it's not like the four of us can just go to the mall and browse for enhancements, Raph. Maybe not us, but April could. Sorry, Raph. I'm more of an online shopper these days. Yep, then Freaky Feather Guy it is. Man, it was so great to see the big guy again. Yeah, and save him from scales for brains, too. Slash will definitely be a critical asset to have on our side moving forward. I agree, but he's still gotta be careful. So do we. We might have taken down Leatherhead this time, but it sure didn't sound like he planned to stay down. Why would he, Don? Dude's a glutton for punishment. He gets up again, we'll just give him more of what he wants. How may I be of assistance, Donatello? The foot seems to be employing a large amount of stock gen tech. Hack into this, search for a client list, uh, purchase records, serial numbers, anything that could give us insight into who's really involved. Command acknowledged. Stockgen? Why in the world would Baxter Stockman want to get caught up in Foot Clan business? Especially now that he's mayor. Huh? Money for all we know. Or power. I mean, that's his regular M.O. at least. Uh, regardless, let's see what we can learn. Uh, could be more going on here than we first thought. I'm sorry we couldn't stop the foot from taking you, Father. But I swear they won't be able to stop us from getting you back. Thank you, Father.
inches rule. Well, I'm here now. Let's do this. Nothing comes easy. On our way, Father. Water! What's not to like? this anyway. This to Donnie. Let's see what he can learn from it. Let's have a ninja fight. Demolitionists are no joke. Well done. Feeling a bit spicy. has an ego problem. Defeat it! Fireball! 
It'll help. Thanks, April. Nice. Let's put this scrap to good use. Come one, come all. Just a short stop. Nice, that'll help. It's not forever, but it'll help. Until we meet again. Must you taunt me? You're the one picking this fight. I have no choice, but you use what you've stolen against me. That is not acceptable. What, this manhole cover? Disgusting thieves! By Shredder. Well, it seems that way. I've never heard of science that allows for retransformation. Let's go. Nice. Was getting hungry. What have the foot done? The docks are a mess. Not forever, but it'll help.
burn it down! This is what we train for! Put this scrap to good use. Whoa, this is different. Goodness, the chairman is full of surprises. Rose, is that a giant squid or maybe even a mythological sea kraken? No! Ah! And look who else is here. One of those punk frogs, dudes. Yeah, it's Genghis. What in the world is he doing here? Man, I can't stand those chumps. Never know whose side they're on. Pretty sure the only side they care about is the one that lets them create the most anarchy, Raph. Well, if they want Antarctica so bad, why don't they just move someplace where it snows all the time? I... Yeah, never mind. It's the spot. I will use this later. Nice, that'll help. What are you meatheads looking at, huh? I don't know. Slimy little punk. Yeah, nothing like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> More like the mutant reptile calling the mutant amphibian green. Huh? Leave the terrible jokes to Mikey, Don. Hey! Why are you here, Genghis? What? Can a guy do a little shopping, huh? You don't exactly strike me as the shopping type. Yeah, more like the break in and entering type. Not today, turtle. Don't gotta break in when you're being invited. Invited? By who? Well, me, of course. I told you my humble shop is host to a rich variety of clientele, did I not? Only thing rich is you believe in this two-bit tadpole's not here for a five-finger discount. Four fingers, Raph. Not everything's about math, Einstein. No, but commerce certainly is. Mr. Genghis is here to spend his hard-earned money on my goods. No different than the four of you. Money? I thought we were supposed to pay you in scrap, Chairman. Yes, well, it's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Ninja sliced! Best wishes on your trial. Simple Mouse allies deployed. Nice work, Metalhead. Boom! Let's have a ninja fight.
Aren't we close to Angel's dad's pub? Yeah, the Scara Bray. Weird that she ain't patrolling the place with everything going on right now. Maybe that boat has something to do with it. Who in their right mind would be going on a cruise right now? Maybe it's not a cruise, Don. Maybe it's an escape. You think the foot's hiding Sensei on that old tub, Leo? Could be. Especially with the foot so heavily invested in controlling the streets. Come on. Looks like stormy seas. Let's go investigate. Batten down the hatches, boys! Chill, Mikey. This isn't the time to be goofing around. No! This is the time for you to be decimated! Karai? Stand down, Karai. Our fight's with your grandfather. This doesn't involve you. As the Shredder second in command, all his conflicts involve me. You of all <clears throat> people should know that, Leonardo. Why Shredder got his JV squad stinking up the docks and the river anyways? This is Angel's turf. Your ally, the vigilante who ridiculously calls herself nobody, no longer holds sway here. The docks and these waters are now under the dominion of Master Shredder. The Foot Clan rules it all. And soon, much, much more! I'll pull through. ninja techniques, but come on! I am twice the ninja you could ever be, Leonardo! You may have won the battle, but the war has just begun. Well, she ain't very good at either of them. Took off like a scared bunny rabbit. Through another portal. There's something bigger going on here than just a typical foot abduction, guys. I, I mean, I still think there's a logical explanation to all of this, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't starting to have some doubts. You ain't the only one, Donnie. was getting Angel, talk about a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, and wait a sec. Nobody will help us. <laughs> I get it now, Leo. Good one. Whatever, Mike. Anyway, you doing all right, Angel? Crackpot Karai made it sound like you were in some kind of trouble. She wasn't exactly lying. The whole city's gone stinking nuts. There's foot creeps popping up everywhere, and the cops got their hands full. So I've been busy keeping tabs on my dad's bar and the rest of the docks. Sorry I couldn't get here faster to help you dudes, but I figured something fishy was happening on this boat. Was checking it out when a bunch of foot freaks jumped me below decks. <laughs> Big mistake for those dweebs. You don't need to apologize. We're just glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm good to go, all things considered. But April let me know about what happened to your dad. That sucks, man. It's gonna suck way worse for Shredder, I guarantee that. Speaking of, do you have any idea what the foot are up to, Angel? No clue other than Shredder's gone full all-hands-on-deck mode. Word on the street is those doofuses Bebop and Rocksteady are mixed up in all this, too. And we all know those psychos don't make a move without Shredder or Karai's say-so. You heard from Casey at all? Nada. I've been trying to call him, but all I'm getting is voicemail. I'm starting to get worried he's in trouble, which I know ain't exactly breaking news for him. Oh, 
Don't stress too much about Casey, Angel. That lunkhead probably just smashed up his cell phone in another scuffle. Casey and fancy gadgets don't exactly mix. Or maybe Casey just forgot to charge it. I totally do that all the time. Yeah, you're probably right. I just wish I had better 411 for you guys. Not your fault, trust me. We're all in new territory here. Something's not adding up. Well, whatever the big picture is, we don't have time to wait around for answers. Yeah, we gotta get moving before Shredder sends more of his freak army to slow us down. Just watch your backs. No telling what other tricks Shredded Wheat's got up his spiky sleeves. We're good, Angel, no worries. Get back to the Scar of Bray and take care of your dad. And we'll go make sure Casey's okay. You guys ready for a swim? In that water? <laughs> Do you realize how many toxins it contains? Come on, Don. You only live once, bro. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, guys. You there? Can you read me? Coming in loud and clear, April. Uh, sorry for going silent, but we just finished tangling with the Foot Clan. Don't you mean just another day in freaking paradise? We're all good, April. How are things in the lair? We're staying busy here, but I still haven't heard back from Casey. I'm really starting to get worried. Those foot freaks wouldn't stand a chance against Casey's bat. He's fine. You're probably right, Raph. But it's just not like him to go dark for so long. Got you covered, April. We'll find him. Thanks, Mikey. Oh, one more thing. Police are saying the punk frogs are on the move. The punk frogs? Huh. Guess our running at the local scrap shop in the sky didn't go so well. Meh, who cares about those ribbit boys? Call the purple dragons, call the mute animals, bring them all on, I'm ready. Okay, enjoy yourselves, I guess. And don't forget about Casey. Like I'd forget about Jones. Dude still owes me five bucks. Frogs are out, and not looking turtle friendly. Gross, dude! Just defending ourselves. PD Roboforce is putting the smack down. At least the foot has to deal with them, too. Welcome, my Colonian friends. 
Hey, hey, watch the chum talk, pal, and what's with the name calling? Chelonian, Raph. It's just another word for the Testodyne order. Yeah, but that's my point, bro. Just because we're mutants doesn't mean he has to get into test tubes and all that. Chill, Raph. My nose is telling me this dude's got some sweet pizzas. You don't gotta be so mean. Indeed, I have a fresh piping hot pie that just finished its sojourn in the oven. Come and see. Guys, get what you need. We're not staying here long. Oh, recent developments, a recent one indeed. I have heard of the trinkets you carry, a variety of trinkets that grant you boons of all kinds. This guy knows too much, I'm telling you. Yes, what of it? A convenience, really. Uh, think of it as my exceptionally custom efforts at exceptional customer service. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can find your trinkets here now, or artifacts, as you call them. He's stealing, dudes. Oh, of course not, Red One. How silly. Your trinkets are your own. I merely make them available to you here. But how's that possible? Ah, it is possible because we've simply made it so. Exceptional customer service, I tell you, exceptional. Okay, I'm gonna need a bit more information. Don't worry, don't worry. All is well, all is well. We're here merely to serve. Guys, there's far weirder stuff going on than having our stuff in two places at once. Just make the best of it. Change whatever you need to, and we're back on mission. We've spent too much time here already. He said he had a hot pizza, dudes. Let's get after it! Uh, I don't know about you guys, but we're beginning to lose all sense of surprise. The chairman. Dudes, it's like some kind of crazy city for crazy people. Sounds just like New York, if you ask me. Well, back you were in here with that Gengabitis guy. Do you know those punk jumpers were gonna come after us? Well, if it isn't the high-spirited red one, so nice to see you again. Nice, my stubby fat tail. What of it, chair man? Tell us what you got on the frogs, or I'm gonna sit on you so heavy your legs will break. Raph, easy. It is not my business to divulge the business of my clientage. I am merely here to serve. Getting awfully tired of this guy's sense of service. He's playing both sides. The presence of Genghis here is certainly a curious question. But it's also possible that whatever has us tied up in this mess has the punk frogs tied up in something similar. Yeah, the chairman doesn't have anything to do with that, Raph. Just think about real life. A shop's a shop. People just come and go all the time. Doesn't really matter who they are. Whatever, I don't just do my shopping in any old hole. Something is fishy around here, and this guy's got the stench. Look, if the punk frogs come back here, tell them we want to talk. There has to be some misunderstanding. Oh, most certainly, Blue One. Whatever is of service. Hits the spot. Be formless, shapeless. Let's make the most of it. Until we meet again.
out the leader. Don't get back up. See ya. My regards to Stockman. Was getting hungry. That rat is the byproduct of mutagen, no doubt. anyways. Put this scrap to good use. Welcome, young ones. Quick look, and we go. Like that. Hits the spot. Please do come again. 
just me, or does this place look like it got redecorated by a bunch of angry kindergartners? Bebop and Rocksteady. What's the matter, Titles? You don't look so happy to see us. Huh. And after we busted our humps to fix the place up all special like for you chumps. Yeah, I even cracked my poor sledgehammer juniper in half while we was working. But that's okay. Got me this sweet new laser machine gun instead. Meet Juniper Junior. What do you two super-sized idiots think you're doing? Turning this hood into some kind of whacked-out playground for pea brains? More like Slayground. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Rock. <laughs> does not look good. Be ready to dance, Turtle Toes. Like that. Break the barricade. Bebop and Rocksteady are having to listen to those two idiots talking smack afterwards. I don't think those things are mutually exclusive, Raph. No, and the way we got tanked, they earned the right to make fun of us. At least someone's having fun. My shell's still throbbing from that beatdown. Yeah, well, I'm ready to beat feet back there. I got a few words of my own I want to share with those doofuses. Yeah, just don't call me your sidekick. The world needs tag him and bag him. Foot boats, bots, and purple stinking magic everywhere. What kind of whacked out ride are we taking? I'm seriously ready to shut it down. Back to the lair to test out a new okay. hypothesis. If my estimations are correct, it does seem to be some kind of collaborative effort happening between Shredder and Baxter Stockman. I wouldn't exactly call them buds, but I'll bet there's probably a lot of money being exchanged between the Foot Clan and Stockgen right now. I'm totally tagging in, bro. It all seems too much. But maybe we're on the right track. And we totally got Slash and nobody on our side. What could go wrong? So 
Oh, wait! Yeah. <laughs> 